Okay guys, so this is my fourth year review of the Kubota ZD 1211 72 inch. Uh, this mower we got back in 2016 and 2015, 2016 and it's been a really, really solid, reliable mower. There has been a couple issues, but they're minor and I'll go ahead and point out some of the things. We just did a 200 hour service on it. So I'll uh, point out a couple things that I don't like about it. A lot of things I do, so let's get into it. So the first thing I wanna mention is the fuel caps. And I hate the fact that they're black. I wish that they were like a high-vis yellow or high-vis orange, because for whatever reason, after we fuel these these tanks up, sometimes we forget to put the fuel caps back on. And that's evident here by the fuel residue on top of the tank. So like I was saying, we had to do a 200 hour service on it. And whenever I did that, I just went ahead and replaced those two fuel filters, and then there's another smaller one on the side of the engine. And uh, a, a really nice feature about this mower is the lift pumps are strong enough to prime your whole fuel, sy fuel system. So that's super handy whenever you have to change those filters. Uh, we went ahead and changed them and got lucky enough to not get much trash in the tank you know, not enough to clog the lines or anything. So we didn't have to blow out any lines or, or uh, flush the tanks out, which is good. So fuel system's working good. It's running stronger than ever now. It's good to go. Deck height adjustment casters here. Anti-gouge casters, I don't know what they call them. I'm still running a bolt with a nut on it. And that's so the ring pin doesn't get hooked under the barbed wire fences anymore or vines or anything. You can tell that that's where that one was gouged out by the actual mower blades. But that's holding good. That's held good for about a year now, or two years now actually. So I'm, I'm pleased with that little modification. The rear tires are good. We haven't had any punctures in those this whole time, so that's been awesome. Can't complain. I'm gonna try to lift this up so we can see that. Last fuel filter. that other fuel filter right there on the side of the block it's right by the battery compartment real easy to get to and changing the fuel filters on these was very simple it's just a very straightforward job so and, and I mean they're so, they're just right there they're so easy to get to can't complain about that now the other issue that I'm still having, the deck is still falling from two inches down to one and a half on its own. And I believe that's a worn out deck height adjusting uh, mechanism down in there. That is something that we're, we're going to be getting fixed over the winter time. But for the rest of this, this year, it's no big deal. I'm gonna keep on running it like it is now. I just have to check it about every 10 minutes or so, or if I notice that it's getting lower. Uh, another thing that we have to do is lift that exhaust chute out, that clippings exhaust chute. We lift that up and it just, it throw it exhausts the, um, the clippings a lot more efficiently. And I think that goes back to like government regulation stuff or something that they have to have those flaps on there. So, not hating on them too much for that. And I really don't want to remove it. But, so we've got that chained up. 
for the time being. I did lose a little weight. I was complaining about the armrest being too close together. Uh, I've lost a little weight since, uh, our, since our last videos and hey, feels good now. Still, I think that's the best seat on the market. So, overall, it's a really, really good mower. I don't have a lot of complaints with it. So, the uh, rollover protector is a little tall too. That's why it's always laying down there in the back. But, yeah, no big deal. So, four years later, it's still running strong. And I have minimal complaints. Kubota did a very good job on this thing. And like the uh, anti-gouge casters, they could have done better on those pins, you know, using bolts, which they may now, and the fuel caps. Please, Kubota, please make those things high-vis. For whatever reason, it's really easy to forget to put them back on. I still keep all the grease fittings greased up on each of your pulleys and you know on the wheels just everywhere everywhere there's a grease fitting I like to grease before I mow every time lightly grease it doesn't take a lot if you use a lot of grease on your deck pulleys it'll start slinging grease out under the deck and then that grease will start catching grass clippings and it'll start building up snowballing over time and then you have some issues with uh, with exhausting your your clippings so yeah it's been a good mower I'm gonna go ahead and hop on it and we'll get y'all some footage of what this thing looks like in action so anyways that's my two two cents on that and Kubota give you a round of applause for making a excellent excellent machine for fifteen thousand dollars you know it should do the weed eating and everything else too but the reliability is is off the charts I've heard uh, I've had a few comments of people saying that they've returned theirs and this and that low on power I'm, I'm gonna call BS on that this thing's a tank um, you know when these dealerships get these things in they are not assembled they have to assemble these at the dealership so you might have defects from the dealership and uh, if you're having trouble with them that's something that I would definitely do is, is take it back to your dealership and have them look at it but um, yeah freaking awesome machine I love it 